Hi, this is Dr. Amalu from facultyworkshop.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload student grades to Moodle. Let's say that you've been keeping track of your grades on a spreadsheet on your computer. And now that your term or semester is over, you would like to go ahead and upload these grades to your Moodle course. The first thing that we're going to do is you want to ensure that the format uh, that you're going to be uploading your grades to is consistent with the gradebook in Moodle. And the easiest way to do that is to start off by actually downloading a blank copy of your gradebook from your Moodle course. So that's what we're going to do first. I'm logged into one of my sample courses. I am going to go to grades. Now that I'm in my gradebook, the first thing that I'm going to do is check to make sure that I don't have any grades posted here. Everything looks fine. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and click on export. And you're going to have several formats to download your exported file in. And I'm going to go ahead and select Excel spreadsheet. It's important that the file that you download has the corresponding columns to the ones that you have on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead through this list and make sure that only the items that are on my spreadsheet on my computer are the ones that I'm downloading. And as I go through this list, I notice that there are a couple of items over here listed as category total. These are not actually on the spreadsheet on my computer. Therefore, I will uncheck them. If I go back to my spreadsheet, I also do not have any extra credit activities on my spreadsheet, but I do have them on my Moodle course. Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and remove those as well. I will just simply uncheck them. I'm also going to uncheck this last category total and the course total because this is automatically going to get calculated or tallied up in Moodle. So I don't need this. Great. Everything looks fine. I'm going to go ahead now and click on download. The file's been downloaded to my computer. I'm going to go ahead now and open it. Click enable editing. And there is a file format from Moodle. The next step is to copy the grades from this spreadsheet and paste it into the Moodle file that we just downloaded. I've selected the grades and now I'm going to go ahead and paste them onto the Moodle spreadsheet. Once you've pasted your grades, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and save your file as a CSV file format. Now that the file has been saved as a CSV format, now we can go ahead and upload this file to our Moodle course. I'm going to go ahead and close this file first and the regular gradebook that I had previously. And go back to my gradebook. And what I want to do here is now click on import. Now I've got the file right over here and I'm going to go ahead and drag the CSV file that I created and drop it right here. Once you've done that, go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click on upload grades. You're going to get a preview of what the grades are going to look like over here. The next thing that you want to do is start off by going to the identify user by and select email address. If you've got the email addresses there, and then you want to map them to the email address on your system. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my grid items are also aligned as well. Okay, once you've gone ahead and mapped out all of your grade items, go ahead and click on upload. You should get a great import success message. Click on continue. Click on continue. And now you should have all of your grades imported into Moodle. 
Now, the one problem that I did encounter while I was doing this process in the past was that if you're uploading any great items that are above 100 points, you may get an error message saying that you are limited to no more than 100 points. And at that point, you do need to contact your site administrator to remove that restriction so that the points don't really matter. Basically, what you want is unlimited points. And this is how you can upload your grades to Moodle. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to be notified as soon as we release another video. If there's something specific that you would like to learn, please post your request below this video in the comment section. Thank you for watching.